Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you're new here, and today's practice is a yin class for the hips. So this is a really mellow, slow paced class. For this class, we will be using a couple of yoga blocks if you have them. If you don't have blocks, you can go ahead and grab a couple of pillows as an alternative. And then whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get started lying on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. So bring your blocks with you or your pillows just in case. Rolling all the way down the spine. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall wide. And then here, if you want to be really supported, you can slide the blocks underneath of your knees and then drop your head down. Place one hand onto your low belly and one hand onto your hearts. Take a full breath in through your nose. And take a clearing breath out of your mouth, rinsing away your day so far or any residue from the week past or the month past, just beginning to let yourself drop. In the yin practice, we hold the poses longer, so about two to five minutes per pose. And the intention here is to release all the muscular engagement, allowing the body to get heavy, to get grounded and anchored, and in doing so, allowing for the fascia and the connective tissue to release. So starting here right away to sink. Scan your body and notice if there are any little secret hidden pockets of muscular engagement or gripping of muscles. And then when you find that, just send your awareness there and see if that can help you to soften and sink. Let your breath flow through your body, allowing the exhalations to rinse away tension. Relax your face. Feel that the weight of your head is dropping fully. Feel the weight of the shoulder girdle releasing to the earth. Let your hips and your pelvis get heavier. Feel the surrendering of the knees to gravity. Soften through the inner thighs. Relax your hands and relax your feet. Just staying here for a few more rounds of breath, allowing the breath to flow through the body like a nice, easy breeze. One more breath in. And a breath out. You can keep your eyes closed if you like throughout this entire practice maybe or blink them open. Bring your hands to your outer thighs and just gently close your knees. Now take your blocks out of the way and allow your knees, well first step your feet wide, about as wide as the mat. Then from here allow your knees to rock side to side in a windshield wiper motion, letting that release. Now the next time that your knees fall to the right, let them stay to the right and pause here. We won't be in this pose for quite as long. If you want to deepen the quad stretch that you feel through the front line of the left leg, play with wiggling your heel closer to your sit bone. You might even catch for the top of your foot with your left hand and manually pull it in toward you. And then just really letting the whole back body sink. Breathing along the grain of the muscle. One more breath in. And a breath out. Good, roll the knees through the center and then let them fall to the left this time. Play with maybe intensifying the quad stretch by drawing your heel closer to you or not. It might feel good right where you've landed. Soften or close your eyes. Bring the awareness inside of your experience. 
keeping the mind focused on the breath and the physical sensations. Noticing when the mind wanders to any distractions and just calling yourself back without judgments. One more breath in. And out. Good, release. Bring the knees back up to the center. Now stretch your left leg straight forward to the top of your mat and hug your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers over your shin and see how much you can relax the crease of your right hip, relaxing the hip flexor so that you can draw your thigh close to your belly, creating a little compression there. Relax through your ankles and your feet. Tuck your chin slightly toward your chest so that you have space in the back of the neck and keep your head anchored heavy to the earth. You might take a micro action of rocking slightly to one side and then the other with your knee to feel some different openings. And then every moment that you stay longer, surrendering some layer of tension, surrendering your muscles away from your bones, and allowing the body to unwind. One more breath here. Extend your right leg straight up to the sky. Release the grip of the arms. Just let them float down beside you. Stretch up through your right toes. And then imagine you're moving through water and really, really, really slowly let your right leg drift back down to the top of the mat. For three, for two, for one. And then as your heel lands, just pause. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Now hug your left knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers over the top of your shin and draw your thigh close to your belly, creating compression. Anchor down into your right heel and let your right leg stay nice and heavy. Soften the crease of the left hip. Sometimes this is a process. The hip flexors maybe like to engage here, at least in my body. So. Sometimes it might even help to bring your thumb to that hip crease and just manually give it a little massage to help it to relax. And keep reminding yourself to let go of all the muscles in the face, in the jaw, around the mouth and around the eyes. Find again the gentle tuck of the chin to the chest. You might be really still, or you might rock just a little bit of movement into the shape. Maybe even just feeling that with the inhale breath, you back off slightly with the compression, and with the exhale breath, you hug your leg in tighter toward you. One more breath in. And a breath out. Good, stretch your left leg straight up to the sky, release the arms and the hands, and take a slow float of your left toes down and forward to the top of the mat as though you're moving through water for three, for two, just suspended in air for one, and then relax all the way down. Pause in stillness, full breath in. Full breath out. Draw your knees toward your chest, both of them. Taking the hands to the backs of the legs, just rock yourself up to a seated position. If you wanna take a couple rolls on the spine, you can, or maybe just one, coming up to a seat. Now, 
Hug your heels in close to your body, bringing the soles of the feet together and let your knees open up wide. Really wiggle until you feel like you're sitting directly up onto the sit bones. And we'll start with the spine elongating just for a breath. So press your sit bones down, lift straight up through the roof of your mouth and the top of your head. Then when you breathe out, begin to fold yourself in over your legs. The spine can round, you don't have to stay elongating. Maybe crawling the fingertips forward, or if it helps you to keep holding onto the ankles, you're welcome to do that. Now here, you can bring a block or a pillow out in front of you and position it to where you can rest maybe your forehead down on top of that block. There might be a process in getting there, that's okay. All about taking our time today in this practice. We're in no rush at all. And let yourself enjoy the slowness of this. In most of our lives, we're often rushing. We're running from one thing to the next. And so allowing for space with our movements and in between our movements can be such a lovely shift and change of pace. Spread open the palms of your hands. And just wash some breath through the fabric of your body. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. As we stay for a couple more minutes here, see how tuned in you can be to every layer of this unfolding process. Feeling your body shift, feeling the pose get softer and easier. And then as things begin to open up more, you might begin to adjust slightly, maybe bringing the block to a lower setting if you're resting your head onto it. Maybe you notice the knees drop more. Maybe you notice tension unwinding from the Hips, outer hips, inner thighs, inner groin. See if you can elongate the lengths of your exhale breaths in particular. So they're just a little longer than your inhales. Last five breaths here. Big deep inhale breath into your low belly. Cleansing exhale breath, drop even more. Begin to lift your head and slowly rise up and out. Take your time coming out of this pose. You can release the block again to the side and hands to the outer thighs, draw your knees together. Walk your feet forward, coming up onto your heels, flex your toes, root your fingertips behind you, and again, just let the knees rock from side to side, falling to one direction and then the other. Even your sides, and then cross at your ankles, roll over your shins, come on up into tabletop position, onto your hands and knees, Spread your fingers wide. This next uh, movement is not exactly yin, uh, but it'll be a nice transition. So step your right foot out wide to the side, root your foot flat with your toes pointing forward. Bend your right knee deeply and just make some big, broad, exaggerated circles with the pelvis around in one direction. Spread breath through your body with this movement and then reverse your circles. Go a couple times in the opposite way. And 
and switch. Right knee in, step your left foot wide to the side, toes pointing forward, bend your knee deeply and circle through the pelvis, through the hips. This can be whatever you want it to be, doing whatever feels good and sweet and mobilizing in your body. And then come back into tabletop when you're ready. Tuck your toes, take a breath in. When you breathe out, send your hips up and back into down dog. Just take a couple breaths here. Feeling the anchoring into the hands and the feet, stretching through your spine and your back body. Next breath in, stretch your right leg high, any amount, doesn't have to be super stretchy or super high three-legged down dog. When you breathe out, coming forward into half pigeon, aligning as you transition. So the shin can be anywhere between 45-ish to 90 degrees. Walk your left knee back in space. Now, if you'd like, you can slide a block or a pillow underneath of your right hip for a bit more support, especially if this is feeling intense for you. We're gonna stay sitting upright for a couple breaths. So walk your fingertips in. You can untuck the back toes, but press really gently your toenails into the earth. And then breathing along the front line of the left hip, getting a hip flexor stretch here, as well as into the outer right hip. Keep a little bit of a lifting of your heart. You can humble your chin towards your chest if that feels good, stretching into the back of the throat. Last couple breaths here in the upright position. And then start to fold yourself forward as you're ready into a sleeping pigeon or in the end, the, the swan position. Sometimes, again here, maybe resting the head onto a block can feel nice or a pillow. Maybe onto uh, palms, if you bring them to touch, you can bring your forehead to the thumbs. Just settle in and get so cozy here. Find the position where you're feeling the stretch, you're feeling the opening, but it's like a gentle hum. It's not like a, a loud sensation that, that prevents you from breathing fully. So manageable stretch. And sometimes here I like to imagine that my breath is moving laterally through my lower back. So like from the sacrum and wrapping toward the outer hips. And then there's like a washing away, a clearing with every exhale breath. Check your low belly for any little pockets of holding or tension. Check your jaw. See how much you can relax your jaw. And then once you feel like you're as soft as you can be, get a little bit softer. There's always like another degree, another, another little bit of ease we can find. Final five breaths here, melting and sinking. Slowly, in your own time, make your way up, climbing back onto the palms, shoulders over the wrists, curl your back toes under, take a breath in, and when you breathe out, really easy step back into downward facing dog, 
Once you arrive, rock your hips side to side, feeling that release. With your next breath in, stretch left leg to the sky as high as feels good in your body, coming into three-legged down dog. When you breathe out, gliding the left shin forward to the top of the mat, aligning anywhere between 45-ish to 90 degrees, crawling the right toes back. Come up onto your fingertips and slide them closer towards you. If you want to set yourself up with the support of a prop under your outer left hip, please go ahead and do that now. It can feel so nice. And then breathing for a couple rounds into the front of the right hip and the outer left hip. Feel the opening of the chest. Collarbones are wide and the shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. There's space around the neck. And as you're ready, coming down, forearms to the mat, maybe forearms to blocks or a pillow. Look for somewhere to rest your head. Noticing as the head drops, as the weight of the head drops, there's a, a freeing of the neck and the shoulders, a ripple effect of softening. And then start to let that relax down your spine, down into the low back and the sacrum, moving through the pelvic complex, through the hips, through the belly, You might notice one side is quite different from the other. That's normal, so no need to judge that or label it. Just notice, it's all good. And if you do notice the mind wandering, remind yourself you can always anchor back to the present through the breath. And through your somatic experience. Final five breaths. Ask your body what else you can release and drop and let go of. Start to find your way up onto your palms. Unless you want to stay longer, you're welcome to. Press into your fingertips, tuck your back toes, breathe in, and then breathe out softly, gently. Step back into down dog. And as you arrive, let your body realign, recalibrate, rock out the hips, pedal the feet, whatever feels good. Sometimes here, circles through the hips can feel really nice. One more breath in through the nose, filling up. And when you breathe out, sink your knees to the mat. We're gonna take yin frog. So the knees are gonna go wide. If you wanna turn toward the long edge of your mat so you have a little more padding or support under your knees, you're welcome to do that. But the knees are going as wide as they'll go, <laughs> relatively comfortably. And then have the shins behind you at a 90-ish degree angle. You can start up on the palms or on the fingertips. The action of the pelvis here is moving back in space rather than sliding forward. The, the pose deepens as the hips go back. 
If you're okay, you can start to soften down onto your forearms, maybe onto your, your belly and your chest, but don't be in a rush. We're gonna be here for a while, so take your time. There's a reflex that engages in the body when we stretch our muscles, like a protective action to protect against overstretching or sometimes it arises when things feel really intense. So notice that if it's occurring and then see if you can encourage your body to release around that tension. Let yourself know it's safe to drop, safe to relax here. Soften or close your eyes. Release your low belly fully. Breathing deeply there. Good, we're about halfway with this pose. And if this one is too intense, it's always okay to take a half frog position instead where one leg is extending out. So the, the knee is kind of aligned with your pelvis and then your opposite leg is just moving straight back behind you. And you can be on your forearms or like all the way onto your chest for that half frog position. So just know that that's there for you. If the, the full frog with both legs out is too much, always okay to back out. And then sometimes as we stay, we'll notice like a, you know, it's like the body exhales, <laughs> like there's a little release of something, a dropping of tension and suddenly things start to feel more open and easier. So if you, encounter that release, lean into it, breathe into it, and just see how much you can soften. Final five breaths. Now to come out, go ahead and slide forward onto your belly. You can extend your legs straight back behind you and just melt down. If you'd like, kick your heels in towards your sit bones and rock your feet from side to side. Windshield wiper motion, letting that go. Now extend your legs straight back behind you. Bring your forehead down onto your palms that are stacked. Relax your shoulders and relax your belly and just breathe to the belly. Feeling the press of the inhalation into the earth beneath you. And then feeling the release of the exhalation. One more breath. Lift your head. Come up through a hands and knees position and then down to a seat. We'll come to lying on our backs for our final pose before Shavasana. 
Bring one of your blocks or a pillow with you and we'll take a supported bridge. So walk your feet in and then lift your hips just enough so that you can slide the block under your hips, under your sacrum. So it's like the very low part of the back. Adjust until you feel like you're comfortable, you're cozy here on your block, really giving the weight of the pelvis to the block. You might be on the lowest setting, maybe the middle setting, if that's okay for you. And then the hands can come onto the low belly. You can take arms wide. The legs can stay as they are with the knees bent, or if you'd like even more release into the hip flexors, fronts of the hips, you can stretch your legs straight toward the top of the mat. Think like Shavasana in the legs. Just relaxing. Feel the support of the surface beneath you and surrender all your muscles and all your bones to gravity. Scan for any tension. Just continue to work through it layer by layer, simply with your awareness and your breath. Relax even more through your legs and your feet and your toes if the legs are extended. Feel the breath wash down those lines. Five breaths to go here. Release your pelvic floor. Begin to walk your feet back in if the legs were extended. Press down and lift your hips just enough to slide the block out from underneath of you and slowly roll back down your spine, one vertebra at a time. Feel the sacrum land, pause. Breath in. Breath out. Now hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins, curl your chin in and up and compress everything into a tight hug. Take a deep breath in. And with your breath out, open up into Shavasana. Arms and legs wide, palms face the sky, toes fall open. Scan from the top of your head down through your face, checking for tension. Relax the shoulders. Open the chest. Soften through the lines of the arms, the hands, the fingers. Relax through your ribs, through your low belly and your low back, your pelvis, pelvic floor. Soften your legs, thigh bones, knees, calves and shins. Relax your ankles, your feet, and your toes. Just stay and enjoy this rest as long as you have time. I will leave you here in Shavasana for this practice so that you can enjoy this stillness as long as you have time. And I hope that you enjoyed this practice today. Thank you so much for taking the time to move with me. 
If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do that down below and you can also join as a monthly donation member. Both of these really help to support me. Have a great rest of your day or your night and I'll see you soon in another class. Bye.